but we can't find Peppa's shoes. Peppa's shoes are lost. Now he haven't got any shoes to wear. <laughs> Poor Peppa. Your shoes were getting a bit old. <laughs> we'll buy you a new pair. <laughs> can my new shoes be red, Mummy? Of course they can. George, I'm going to have new red shoes. <laughs> Mummy Pig and Pepper are at Miss Rabbit's shoe shop. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. We would like to buy some new shoes for Pepper, please. Red shoes. Oh, I'm sure we can find you some lovely new shoes, Pepper. Red ones, please. Of course, red ones. Wow. No red shoes. <laughs> George and Daddy Pig are playing draughts. Oh, well done, George. Daddy, Daddy! <laughs> Look at my new shoes! They're red! I say, they are red. Mummy, do you like my new shoes? Yes, Pepper. They make you look very smart. George, do you like my new shoes? Everyone likes Pepper's new shoes. I like my new shoes so much. I don't want to ever take them off. <laughs> <laughs> it is bath time. Peppa wants to keep her new shoes on, even for her bath. <laughs> Peppa is in her pyjamas. She still has her new shoes on. <laughs> Peppa even wants to wear her new shoes in bed. Peppa, are you sure you don't want to take your shoes off? I don't want to ever take my new shoes off, Bobby. Very well. Good night, Pepper and George. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Bobby. <laughs> Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. Yes, who is it? It's Mummy Pig. Have you room for any more visitors? You have to say the secret words. Then you can come into our house. <laughs> I see. And what are the secret words? I have to whisper them to you. The secret words are Daddy's big tummy. I see. <laughs> <laughs> say the secret words. Daddy's big tummy. That's right. Daddy's big tummy. <laughs> I think those are silly secret words. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, before you come in our house, you must take off your boots. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> There's room for Daddy, too. Say the secret words, Daddy. Can I have different secret words, please? No. <laughs> oh, all right. Daddy's big tummy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You can come in now, Daddy. Take your boots off. Uh, uh, I don't think I can fit through the door. <laughs> That's because your tummy's too big. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Daddy Pig can climb in through the top. Pepper, George, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are all in the treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Granny, I love our treehouse. I don't want to ever come out. That's nice, Pepper. But are you sure you don't want to visit me in my house? No, thank you, Granny. In that case, Grandpa Pig and I will just have to eat my homemade cookies all by ourselves. Cookies! <laughs> Is the water cold? It's lovely and warm. Steady ah! <laughs> 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 <Get it> on! <laughs> you started it, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Maybe that's enough splashing. <laughs> Whee! Daddy, I love being at the beach. Pepper and George love the beach. Everyone loves the beach. Pepper, George, would you like to play with your buckets and spades? Yes, please, Mummy. 
Daddy, Daddy, can we bury you in the sand? Uh, well... Please, Daddy. Oh, all right. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are burying Daddy Pig in the sand. Steady on! <laughs> <laughs> there. Now you can't escape. <laughs> my head is getting a bit hot. Can I have my straw hat? Well, if you say please. Please, can I have my straw hat? Yes, you may, Daddy. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, maybe I'll just have a little sleep. <laughs> George, let's make sand castles. Pepper and George are making sand castles. First we put sand in the buckets, like this. We turn the buckets upside down and tap them. And lift the bucket up. Hey, presto! A sand castle. Hey, presto! Another sand castle. Pepper, George, home time. Don't leave any stuff behind. <laughs> Let's check that we haven't forgotten anything. There's a spider in my bedroom. Oh, oh don't worry, Pepper. Please, Daddy, take it away. <laughs> no need to panic. Hello, George. Have you seen the spider? It's too scary. Take it away. There's no need to be afraid, Peppa. <sniffs> Spiders are very, very small and they can't hurt you. But don't worry. Daddy will take it out of the bedroom. <coughs> Whoa! He's quite big, isn't he? Um, I'll just fetch Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig! <laughs> Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. Peppa feels a little bit braver. He likes being in my doll's house. Hello, children. I hear you found a little spider. I'll take him out of the bedroom so you two can play. Mummy, his name is Mr. Skinny Legs. Ah! Mr. Skinny Legs is big, isn't he? <laughs> Pepper and George like the spider. <laughs> night, night. George is putting the spider to bed. No, George. He wants some tea. He doesn't want to be in bed. <coughs> Are you hungry, Mr Skinny Legs? Would you like some cake? Pepper isn't afraid of the spider anymore. Mummy, Daddy, sit down. We are all going to have tea with Mr Skinny Legs. <coughs> Who wants tea? Me, please. Me, please. <coughs> Delicious. Pepper loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Here's your tea, Mr Skinny Legs. What's that? You want to say hello to my daddy? Hello, Mr Daddy Pig. Hey, uh, that's all right, Pepper. Let Mr Skinny Legs drink his tea. You're not scared, are you, Daddy? Oh, no, of course not. Well, <laughs> not so close. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> no, George. The next thing on the list is onions. Onions! I remember now. Here they are. <laughs> well done. One, two, three, four. <laughs> onions! Very good. That's nearly everything on our list. There's one last thing on the list. <laughs> a plant? Is that on the list? Oh, no, George. The last thing on the list is fruit. Oh. Never mind, George. You can choose the fruit. <laughs> Where is the fruit? Over there. <laughs> there are apples and oranges and bananas and a very big melon. What fruit shall we have, George? Apples? Oranges? Bananas. A melon. <laughs> <laughs> this is the checkout where all the food is paid for. Tomatoes. Spaghetti. Onions. 
Melon. Chocolate cake. Chocolate cake? Chocolate cake? Is that on the list? Pepper, did you put the chocolate cake in the trolley? No, Mummy. George, did you put the chocolate cake in the trolley? No. Well, I didn't put it in. Then who did? Uh, I thought it might be nice for pudding. Daddy Pig. <laughs> Naughty Daddy. Sorry, it just looked so delicious. It does look rather yummy. Oh, let's pretend it was on the list. Chocolate cake! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, the sleepy princess. Once upon a time, in a castle, there lived a little princess. And she was called the sleepy princess. Daddy, why was she called that? I'll get to that later. Was the sleepy princess pretty? Yes, she was very pretty. She loved looking at herself in the mirror. <laughs> Who else was living at the castle? Uh, well... The others in the castle were the small prince, <coughs> Queen Mummy <coughs> and King Daddy. <coughs> That's right. They were all living there as well. Did King Daddy have a big tummy? Of course not. He was very handsome, like me. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, there was also a dragon. A dinosaur? Oh, yes, it wasn't a dragon. It was a dinosaur. Living outside was a huge, fierce dinosaur. Oh, dear. Maybe the dinosaur wasn't quite that fierce, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Sorry, George. No, the dinosaur was very gentle. It ate lots of grass. Daddy Pig! Oh, sorry. I was being the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, why is the princess called the Sleepy Princess? I'm coming to that. You see, the sun set, then the stars and moon came out, and everyone got very sleepy. Mm. <laughs> Pepper, George, did you bring all your toys in from the garden? Dinosaur. Good. Mr Dinosaur is safe. Teddy! I left Teddy in the garden. He'll get wet. Don't worry, Pepper. Daddy Pig will rescue Teddy. You'd better hurry, Daddy Pig. It's just about to rain. I know all about thunderstorms. It won't rain for ages. <laughs> As I thought, plenty of time before it rains. <laughs> poor Teddy! He's soaking wet. Yes, poor Teddy. Let's get him dry. Poor Teddy. <laughs> There you are, Teddy. All dry. <laughs> ah, choo! What about poor Daddy? I'm soaking wet too. Oh, sorry, Daddy Pig. Let's get you dry. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, Daddy Pig. Nice and dry. <laughs> oh. The rain is coming in the house. The floor is getting wet. Oh, dear. What can we do, Daddy Pig? Don't worry. Daddy Pig is using a bucket to catch the drips. Well done, Daddy Pig. Easy as pie. Eh? Uh, what? <gasps> Quick, find something else to catch the water. Well done, Pepper. Easy as pie. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, the thunderbags are very loud. It's okay, children. Don't be frightened. Let's count between each flash and bang. The higher we can count, the further away the thunderstorm is.
Naughty, messy daddy. <laughs> Look at all this rubbish. Newspapers? They're mine. Sweets? They're mine. Mr Dinosaur? Dinosaur. Grrr. We must clean the car before we go for a drive. Oh, right you are, Mummy Pig. Mummy, can we help to clean the car? <laughs> yes, if you want to. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy Pig has some warm, soapy water to wash the car. <laughs> Daddy Pig is washing the roof. <laughs> Mummy Pig is washing the bonnet. <laughs> Pepper is washing the doors. George wants to wash the windows. But he is too little. <laughs> Poor George. Let me help you. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, George has dropped his sponge in a muddy puddle. George, you're making the car all muddy again. <laughs> I will wash the mud off. Pepper, don't use the <laughs> muddy water. Oh dear. Pepper has thrown the muddy water all over the car. Oh. Never mind. We can use the garden hose to clean it off. Yes, yes. Can I hold the hose? <laughs> <laughs> Pepper holds the hose, and Daddy Pig turns on the water. Where's the water? Ah! <laughs> oh, Pepper, stop! Sorry, Mummy. <laughs> oh. Hmm, you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You will get a chance to show me when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. Syrup, please. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> this pancake is for Mummy Pig. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you still aren't flipping them high enough, Mummy Pig. The next pancake is yours, Daddy Pig. So now you can show us how it should be done. Mm, delicious. Mm. <laughs> Is everyone watching? The secret of making a good pancake is to flip it high into the air. <laughs> a one, two, three, whoopla! <gasps> Daddy. Oh, maybe that was just a bit too high. Oh, what a shame. That was the last pancake. It should be a simple matter to get it down. <sighs> oh, dear. Daddy Pig cannot reach his pancake. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I think I know a way to get it down. Let's go upstairs, children. <laughs> this way. <laughs> what is Mummy Pig planning to do? On the count of three, we all have to start jumping up and down. One, two, three, jump! <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> it worked! Now Daddy Pig has his pancake. Daddy has a pancake on his head! <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Syrup on your pancake, Daddy Pig? Yes, please. <laughs> Do you know where we are? I know exactly where we are. Although, this road doesn't look the same as it does on the map. Oh, Daddy Pig. We're lost. We are not lost. So how do we get to Windy Castle from here? Just give me a moment. Hmm. I know. We can ring Granny and Grandpa. There's no need to ring Granny and Grandpa. I'll get us to Windy Castle if it takes me all day. We haven't got all day. 
Hello, Grandpa Pig speaking. Grandpa Pig, we've got a bit lost on the way to Windy Castle. No, <laughs> is Daddy Pig doing the map reading? <laughs> yes, Daddy Pig is doing the map reading and he's a bit grumpy at the moment. I am not grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> This is the best route. Uh, keep on the main road until you see Windy Castle up ahead. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. We follow the main road and look out for Windy Castle. As I thought. <laughs> <laughs> look! Is that a castle? Yes, it's Windy Castle. Come on, car. Go on, car. You can make it. Hooray! Peppa and her family have arrived at Windy Castle. Wow, it's so tall! <laughs> Let's go inside. The view from the top is fantastic. <laughs> wow! Look at the view! Mummy, is that Granny and Grandpa's house? Yes, it is. It's so far away. Let's take a look through the telescope. First, please. Yes, but you must let George look next. Wow! The telescope makes everything look bigger. Breakfast is ready. <laughs> Pepper has red spots on her face. Mummy, I don't feel very well. Oh dear, Pepper, you don't look very well. Don't worry, I'll ring Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. Peppa is not very well. Her face is covered in red spots. Hmm. Put Peppa to bed and I'll come straight round. Dr. Brown Bear has come to make Peppa better. Hello, Peppa. How are you today? I'm not very well. Stick your tongue out, please. Hmm. It's not anything serious. Pepper has just got a rash. Do I need medicine? The rash will clear up quickly, but if you like, I can give you just a little medicine. Yes, please. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. Open wide, please. Yuck! Disgusting! You are a brave little one for taking it so well. Pepper must stay in bed. I'll call back later to check that she's better. Can Pepper have visitors? Oh, yes, she can have visitors. The rash isn't catching. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Dr. Brown Bear. Bobby, can I get up now? Dr. Brown Bear says that you must stay in bed for a little bit, Pepper. Oh, but it's so boring. Dr. Brown Bear did say you could have visitors. <laughs> can Susie Sheep visit me? Susie Sheep is Pepper's mm. best friend. I'll ring Susie Sheep's mummy. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Pig. <coughs> May Pepper talk with Susie, please? <coughs> Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Pepper. I'm not very well. <laughs> what a lot of noise! Finished! Ah, oh, now we'll have a bit of quiet. <laughs> What's that? It's a tooth. Where did that come from? <laughs> Pepper, maybe you should look in the mirror. <laughs> It's fallen out. Don't worry, Pepper. It's just a milk tooth. They're meant to fall out. Will I grow a new one, Mummy? Yes, you will, Pepper. It also means the Tooth Fairy will be paying you a visit. Tooth Fairy? Yes, the Tooth Fairy. If you put the tooth under your pillow tonight, the Tooth Fairy will come. <coughs> The Tooth Fairy will take the tooth, and in its place, she will leave a shiny coin. When I grow up, I want to be a Tooth Fairy. Oh, <laughs> and what would you like to be when you grow up, George? I 
dinosaur. <laughs> a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, George, it's bedtime. We don't want to miss the tooth fairy. Before going to bed, Pepper and George brush their teeth. Pepper, what are you doing? I'm brushing my tooth, so it's nice and clean for the tooth fairy. <laughs> Pepper cannot wait to get into bed. Pepper is putting her tooth under the pillow for the tooth fairy. Good night, Pepper and George. <laughs> Good night, Mummy. Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. Daddy, make the magic windows go down. <laughs> What does the blue button do? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I love this new car. Can we keep it? No, we can't keep it, Pepper. We've only borrowed it for today. Oh? Oh, no. I think it's going to rain. Yes, I'll just put the roof up. Now, which is the button to close the roof? <laughs> Oops, silly me. Aha! This must be the button. Ah! The new car has squirted Daddy Pig with water. <laughs> silly Daddy, that's not the roof. This button. Oops, not that one. This button. Ah! Ah! Daddy Pig has forgotten which button closes the roof. I don't think this car likes me. Let's try the red button. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> but now it's stopped raining. Can we open the roof again? Uh, yes. Which button was it? The, the red, red one! one. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Grandad Dog has fixed the car. Your car is fixed. Hooray! Thank you, Grandad Dog. And keep the change. Thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Bye-bye. Ah, it's good to get our old car back again. I like the new car, but I like our old car better. And I think our old car likes us too, don't you? Tigers like to lick themselves clean. But best of all, when tigers are happy, they purr. Hello, children. My goodness, you're all tigers. And I'm teaching them to be proper tigers. <laughs> what do you little tigers want to do next? Dinosaur! That's right. We have to find George a dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Let's get you all balloons. Hooray! <laughs> Hello, Madam Gazelle. We'd like some balloons, please. Certainly. I've got lots of different ones. Can I have an elephant balloon, please? Here you are, Peppa. Can I have a kangaroo? A lion, please. A monkey, please. A parrot, please. <laughs> oh, yes, I've got all those. <laughs> Most important of all, we need a dinosaur balloon for George. Oh, dear. I do not seem to have any dinosaur balloons. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I've got an idea. Could we have two of the long balloons, please? Watch this, everybody. What is Daddy Pig doing with the balloons? There. Can anyone guess what it is? Is it a kangaroo? Oh, <laughs> no. It's a... Dinosaur. That's right. A dinosaur. Daddy Pig has made a balloon dinosaur. Grrr. Dinosaur. Now the bouncy castle! <laughs> Pepper loves bouncing on the bouncy castle. Everyone loves bouncing on the bouncy castle. This is the best school fate ever! Ooh. Oh 
dear. I do not think it is meant to sound like that. <coughs> George wants to try. Hold it like this, George. <coughs> oh, Ooh. that does not sound quite right either. The violin is too hard to play. Pepper, maybe you would do better with this tin drum. Thank you, Daddy. That sounds better. Pepper loves playing the drum. Oh, lovely. Yes, it sounds very nice. This is Daddy Pig's old accordion. I used to play this to Mummy Pig when we first met. Oh, Daddy Pig. I remember this tune. <laughs> <laughs> George wants to play the accordion too. Are you sure, George? The accordion is quite difficult. George, the accordion is almost as difficult to play as my drum. <laughs> OK, George. <laughs> oh. Maybe George is a bit too little to play the accordion. Daddy, what other instruments are in the box? Just this horn. Can I try? You have to blow it very hard. That does not sound right. It's impossible. I think I used to be able to play it. That really does not sound right. <laughs> Maybe it just needs someone big and strong like me. <sighs> that does not sound right either. <sighs> Daddy, I don't want stabilizers anymore. Do you think you can ride without them? Yes! All right, Pepper. Let's take them off. Daddy Pig is taking the stabilizers off Pepper's bicycle. Are you sure you want to ride without stabilizers? Yes! You've never done it before. I can do it. I can, I can. Ah! <laughs> it's not funny. Riding without stabilizers is not easy. Would you like some help, Peppa? Yes, please, Daddy. All right. Ready, steady, go! Don't let go, Daddy. Don't worry, I've got you. You're doing really well, Peppa. Hold on, Daddy. <laughs> Just keep pedaling. Peppa is riding on her own without stabilizers. <laughs> You've been cycling on your own for ages. Have I? You're really very good at it. Am I? Oh, I can do it. Look at me, look at me. I can ride my bike properly. <coughs> Daddy, Susie, Rebecca, look. I don't need my stabilizers anymore. <coughs> Look at me! Hooray! <laughs> Race you to Daddy's pumpkin! <laughs> Peppa, look out! My pumpkin! I'm going to win! Peppa isn't looking where she is going. <laughs> oh dear. Peppa has squashed Daddy Pig's pumpkin. Sorry I squashed your pumpkin, Daddy. Never mind the pumpkin. The important thing is that you are OK. In future, you really must look where you are going. Pepper, this box is just for you. Thank you, Mummy. It's a secret box for you to keep secret things in. What things can I put in it, Mummy? <laughs> Only you can decide that, Pepper. It's your secret box. I know what I can put in it. Good, but don't tell me. I won't tell you or George or Daddy. It's a secret. George, this is my secret box. It's empty. I have to find some things to put inside. <laughs> George wants to help Pepper. No, George. Only I must know what's in the box. 
You have to wait outside while I choose. <laughs> Peppa is going to choose some secret things to put in the box. <laughs> now my secret box is full. George, you must not look inside. George would like to know what is inside Peppa's secret box. If you like, you can try to guess. <laughs> dinosaur! George thinks Peppa has put a dinosaur in the box. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. <laughs> anyway, a dinosaur is too big to fit in the box. George cannot guess what is in Peppa's secret box. Daddy Pig is cleaning a picture. Daddy, this is my secret box. Mummy made it for me. It's very nice, Peppa. What's inside? It's a secret. George tried to guess, but he didn't get it right. Can I have a try? Yes. Hmm. Have you put my glasses inside? No. <laughs> your glasses are on your head. So they are. Silly Daddy. Now, wave your arms up and down and stick your tongue out. <coughs> and now, close your eyes and turn around quickly three times. <coughs> Peppa's new cure hasn't worked either. George still has hiccups. I know. To cure hiccups, the ill piggy must be given a shock. George, I'm going to scare you, but you must remember, it's only a game and it'll stop your hiccups. Remember, this is just pretend scaring. Peppa, you mustn't play so roughly with George. He's only little. Sorry, Mummy. I was just trying to stop George's hiccups. George's hiccups have gone. Here comes Daddy Pig with two beakers of juice. George, if you drink too quickly, you will get hiccups again. I'm not as little as George. I can drink juice as quickly as I want to. <laughs> mummy, mummy, we all danced as swans. Peppa did very well. I had to dance beautifully and gracefully. That's lovely. Can I show you how I did it? Let's get home first. Then you can show Daddy Pig and George and me. Bye-bye. Peppa and Mummy Pig are home. <laughs> Daddy George, I'm going to show you how to do ballet. Is it difficult? It was easy for me, but you, George and Mummy will find it very hard. First, we need music. Good. Now, George, Daddy and Mummy, you must copy what I do. Madame Gazelle used funny words, but really, it's just bending your knees and jumping. Ah, the petit jeté. Daddy, you know the funny words. <laughs> Mummy Pig and I used to be quite good at ballet. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Our favourite was the pas de deux. Ah! 
That wasn't quite how I remembered it. <laughs> Silly Daddy Pig. <laughs> oh, maybe we should leave the ballet to Pepper. Yes. I am the best at it. I am a beautiful swan. <laughs> <laughs> That's a splendid campfire. Now I'll light it. Here are the matches. Oh, oh, we don't need matches. Daddy, how can you light it without matches? I'm going to make fire the old way, by simply rubbing these two sticks together. Daddy Pig is rubbing the two sticks together to light the campfire. Where is the fire, Daddy? Nearly there. Hooray! <laughs> Oh, easy as pie. <laughs> <laughs> now we can heat up the tomato soup. Ah, listen to the sounds of nature. What is that sound? That is the sound of crickets chirping. What is that? That's an owl. Look, there it is. Wow. wow. And what's that noise? Oh, I'm not sure. It's Daddy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> My tummy rumbling is one of the best sounds of nature. It means it's time to eat. I love tomato soup. So do I. Oh, there's another one of Daddy Pig's sounds of nature. Uh, eh? What? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, children, into the tent. It's bedtime. We won't all fit in. The tent is too little. It will be fine. In you go. Move further in, Mummy Pig. Daddy, you're too big for the tent. Never mind. I'd rather sleep outside anyway. Good night, Daddy Pig. Good night, Daddy. Night, night. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are sleeping in the tent. Daddy Pig is sleeping outside, under the stars. <sighs> I love camping. Sleeping in the open air with the stars above me. These are all the things that the Queen had a long time ago. This is the Queen's special chair. It's called a throne. It's beautiful. This is the Queen's dress. It's so pretty. Look, Pepper. This is the Queen's golden crown. Wow! What lovely things. Mummy, where is the Queen's television? They didn't have television then. <gasps> no television? <coughs> but they did have computers. No, they didn't have computers either. <coughs> what did they do all day? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mummy, if I was the Queen, I would eat as much cake as I wanted. Pepper imagines being a queen. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Is there anything else you would care for, Queen Pepper? Yes. More cake, please. Of course. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Coming, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy? I'm Queen Pepper. You must bow when you speak to me. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry, Your Royal Highness. And what do you do? I'm your daddy. Hmm, that must be very interesting. Yes, it's very interesting. And what room is this? This is the dinosaur room. The dinosaur room? George, this is the dinosaur room. <laughs> dinosaur! Where is the dinosaur? He's somewhere in the room. I can't see him. He must be very small. Actually, Pepper, he's very big. <gasps> wow! These are the bones of a real dinosaur. <laughs> Whoa! Help! Oh! oh. What on earth is going on? What a 
a lot of noise. And look at all this mess on the floor. Someone could trip over and hurt themselves. Someone did trip over and hurt themselves. Oh, dear. Poor Daddy Pig. <coughs> Come on, children. Let's do a bit of tidying up. But, Mummy, we're playing dollies and dinosaurs. You can play again when you've tidied up. But it's all George's mess. Is it really? So this must be one of George's lovely dresses. <gasps> no. <laughs> or maybe some of the mess is mine. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll help George tidy and Mummy Pig can help Peppa. We can have a race. Girls against boys. Good idea. Let's see who can tidy up first. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> We're winning. No, you're not. <laughs> there. Oh, what's this? Teddy, I've been looking for you. Quick, Peppa, put Teddy in your toy basket. <laughs> there. Now these books. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> What do we have here? Dinosaur! That's right! It's a dinosaur book. It's George's pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Oh, this is a Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> yes! And this is a Triceratops. I expect Uncle Pig will fall asleep after lunch like he always does. Daddy Pig, you shouldn't say such things about your own brother, especially in front of the children. But it's true. Uncle Pig always eats too much lunch and falls asleep, snoring loudly, like this. <laughs> Uh, Peppa, George, forget what I just said about Uncle Pig. OK, Daddy. <laughs> Peppa and her family have arrived at Uncle Pig and Auntie Pig's house. Hello, Auntie Pig and Uncle Pig. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, Big Brother. Uncle Pig is Daddy Pig's brother. Chloe Pig is Peppa and George's cousin. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. I want to show you something. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new puppet theatre. My daddy made it for me. Wow! Ooh. I've made two puppets already. This one is called Chloe. Hello, I am Chloe Pig. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is my daddy, Uncle Pig. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. I am Uncle Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, can me and George make puppets too? Yes. Chloe paints the puppet's eyes. Can I do the mouth? OK. My name is Peppa. <laughs> George, what puppet would you like to make? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? George always says dinosaur for everything. OK. A scary dinosaur puppet. Chloe is making George a dinosaur puppet. It needs pointy teeth. There, a scary dinosaur. <laughs> Pepper is dressed as a fairy princess. And George is dressed as a dinosaur. Dinosaur. <laughs> Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Susie is wearing her nurse's costume. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Mr Pig. I'm glad the nurse has arrived. Have you just come from the hospital? Uh, I'm not a real nurse. It's just pretend. <laughs> Very good. My, my. Who have we here? I'm a pirate. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Meow. I'm a witch. I can turn you into a frog. Nay. I'm a clown. 
<laughs> That's funny. What are you, Rebecca Rabbit? I'm the carrot. <laughs> Fantastic. Come in. There's a fairy princess and a dinosaur waiting to meet you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. I'm Princess Peppa. <laughs> you must bow when you speak to me. Hello, Your Majesty. <laughs> I'm Nurse Susie. Open wide and say, ah. Ah. <laughs> Nay. I'm a clown. Do something funny. <laughs> Rebecca, why are you dressed as a carrot? I like carrots. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> a scary dinosaur. <laughs> Peppa is admiring herself in the mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> You are Peppa. <laughs> Meow. Hello, Peppa. Hello. I'm a little fairy princess. <laughs> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> 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 Maybe we should film something new. I know. Daddy Pig must leave the room and we'll make a movie to show him. This way! Daddy Pig has to wait in the kitchen while Mummy Pig, Peppa and George make a secret movie. <laughs> no peeking, Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We all have to do something. George, do you want to go first? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Can I come in and see the movie? Finished. You can come in now. George has made a movie and so has Pepper. Let's see George's movie first. <coughs> dinosaur! Grrr. George is pretending to be a dinosaur. Grrr. That's a very scary dinosaur. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, dear. George is frightened. Don't be frightened, George. That's not a real dinosaur on TV. It's you. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see Peppa's movie. Ho, ho, ho. Who is that meant to be? I am Daddy Pig. Ho, ho, ho. I see. My tummy is very big because I eat a lot of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> My tummy is not big. But it is true that I like cookies. And the more you eat, the bigger your tummy gets. <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper, and George are decorating the sitting room. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig have arrived for Mummy Pig's birthday. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig. Aren't you coming inside? Oh, I can't come in yet. Daddy Pig, Peppa and George are doing secret things for my birthday. How lovely. <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> Mummy! Would you like to come inside now? I'd love to. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed, Mummy. <laughs> One, two, three. Open your eyes. <laughs> Happy birthday, <laughs> Mummy Pig. <laughs> what a lovely surprise. Blow the candles out and make a wish. <laughs> Mummy, Mummy, open your present. Can you guess what it is? I've no idea. Open it and see. It's a beautiful dress. Oh. You're beautiful, Mummy. <laughs> now you just need somewhere nice to wear it. What's this? Two tickets to the theatre tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Mummy Pig loves going to the theatre. And Granny Pig and I are going to babysit the little ones. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> 
What a super birthday. I'm the luckiest mummy in the whole world. And the most beautiful. <laughs> Daddy, can we go and watch Mummy on her computer? Yes, as long as you don't disturb her. She has a lot of important work to do today. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig has a lot of important work to do. Mummy, could George and I sit on your lap and watch you work? Yes, if you both sit quietly. <laughs> Pepper and George love to watch Mummy work on the computer. Mummy, can we play that computer game, Happy Mrs Chicken? We can play Happy Mrs Chicken later, but now I have to work. Mummy, can we help you work? No, Pepper. You mustn't touch the computer. And George, you mustn't touch the computer either. Yes, George. You mustn't do this. Pepper, stop! Sorry, Mummy. I was just showing George what not to do. Oh dear, the computer is not meant to do that. Daddy Pig! Daddy Pig! What is it, Mummy Pig? Daddy Pig, can you mend the computer? Um. I'll finish the lunch while you mend the computer. Uh, right you are, Mummy Pig, but I'm not very good with these things. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig is going to mend the computer. Mm. Mm. Um, maybe if I just switch it off and then switch it on again. Daddy Pig has mended the computer. Hooray, Daddy! George, I need some help. I'm making chocolate chip cookies. Someone needs to lick out the bowl. <laughs> George likes helping Mummy make cookies. But he likes playing with Pepper more. <laughs> I want to be a nurse. I want to be a doctor. But who's going to be the sick person? George! <laughs> Peppa and Susie love playing doctors and nurses. So does George. Peppa listens to George's chest. Now, George. Take a big breath in, then cough. <gasps> hmm, I think your heart's a bit loose. How about a plaster on it? <laughs> Open wide, please. Susie takes George's temperature. Oh dear, you're very, very hot. I think you have to stay in bed for three years. <laughs> Daddy Pig has come to find George. Oh, no. What's wrong with George? Don't worry, Daddy. It's only a game. George is our patient. Oh, I see. Can the patient have a visitor? Just for a little while. He might get tired. Cookies! Yes, they're for George. They're his medicine to make him feel better. <laughs> Um, excuse me, Doctor. Can you help me? I have a sore tummy. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> I can hear it rumbling. George, have you lost Mr. Dinosaur? George has lost Mr. Dinosaur. Don't worry, George. We'll find Mr. Dinosaur. It's a job for a detective. Daddy, what is a detective? A detective is a very important person 
who is good at finding things. Me, me! I'm good at finding things. All right. Peppa is the detective. George, I'm the detective. <laughs> I will help you find Mr. Dinosaur. Maybe the detective should ask George some simple questions. George, where's Mr. Dinosaur? <laughs> George does not know where Mr. Dinosaur is. The detective could try and guess where Mr. Dinosaur might be. I know. I know where he is. <laughs> George always has Mr. Dinosaur with him in the bath. So Mr. Dinosaur is in the bath. Mr. Dinosaur is not in the bath. Oh. I know. I know where Mr. Dinosaur is. <laughs> George always has Mr. Dinosaur in his bed at night. <laughs> See, that's where he is. Mr. Dinosaur is not in George's bed. Oh. Maybe we should try the garden. Yes, the garden! <laughs> I was going to say that. Where is Mr. Dinosaur? Mr. Dinosaur is very hard to find. Oh, Mr. Dinosaur isn't anywhere. George? You do love to throw Mr. Dinosaur in the air. I wonder if this time you threw Mr. Dinosaur just a bit too high. There he is! There he is! I saw him first! So much for Daddy Pig and his exercise. <laughs> uh, what? You lot again? Peppa told you. There's no more bread. <coughs> Mummy, we do have strawberry cake. Well, if there's any cake left over, you can give it to the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone likes Mummy Pig's homemade <laughs> strawberry cake. Ooh, a wasp. I hate wasps. Shoo! What a fuss, Mummy Pig. It's only a little wasp. <gasps> Go away, wasp! Just stay still, Mummy Pig. Then it will fly away. <laughs> There, you see? All you had to do was stay still. Eh? Get away! Scram! Whoop. Help! Whoop. Chew! Get it off me! I hope the wasp doesn't sting, Daddy. Oh, get away, you little pest! No, Daddy Pig is running too fast for the wasp to catch him. Whoop. Let's eat our cake before the wasp comes back. <laughs> oh no, we forgot to leave any for the ducks. <sighs> I think I lost it. You said you would run around and get some exercise, Daddy Pig, but I didn't believe you'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I managed to hang on to my slice of strawberry cake. Stop, Daddy! We promised the rest of the cake for the ducks. Oh. You are very lucky, ducks. <laughs> Say thank you to Daddy Pig. You're most welcome. Ho <laughs> ho. It's time to go home. Say goodbye to the ducks. Bye bye, ducks. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.